my brother, for example, is simply not allowed to cook this at home because his wife thinks he's going to burn the kitchen down. <laughs> Hello everyone, another cooking video for all my wife's lovely followers. So today, it's Saturday, which gives us a little bit more time for preparation. Most of the videos so far have been in the week, so you've only got limited time. But uh, we fancied fried chicken tonight, so we're going to have some fried chicken drumsticks. And um, we're just doing the preparation at the moment, so what we want to do is we want to get these so marinating... Um, for a few hours and we'll cook them later on tonight. So all we're doing now is just making a little um, marinade to put them in then I'll slam them in the fridge, we'll leave them for four or five hours and we'll cook them later. So this is um, supposed to be buttermilk, it's not actually buttermilk because I didn't have any so I've just curdled some milk with a little bit of lemon juice and that apparently will make just as good a I like a buttermilk substitute. So that's going in the bowl. Just some some hot chilli sauce. So I'm going to put a squirt of that in. I salt. Won't yeah, you won't. Put some salt in. Grind some pepper in. Ooh, that's got a nice colour. Smells pretty good in there. Now the chicken drumsticks, I've sliced them just a little bit. Oh, I've sliced them just a little bit so that the marinade will get in. So I'm just gonna put those in, give them all a bit of a mix around. Um, and they go one by one, now two by two. There you go. Give them all a good mix around, make sure they're all covered up. And for now, that is it. We're just going to let them try and get them all covered in the marinade. We're just going to put them in the fridge and leave them for a few hours. A few moments later. Hello again. We're back to finish off the um, fried chicken. So actually, the chicken has now been marinating in this uh, for around about six hours actually, a bit longer than we thought, largely because she's had me doing all sorts of chores outside this afternoon. And it's longer than expected. There we go. So we're going to just make the, um, the chicken powder to coat the chicken in before we fry it. Um, so for that, we want some plain flour. So I'm going to put some of that in there. Uh, we also want some corn flour. About three times as much normal flour as corn flour. Right, so that's my flour and corn flour. That oven is so cold, Jimmy. That's so dangerous, you want to burn your kitchen. No, so that's just mix all that in. Then you've just got to add the things you like into it. So I'm going to go with some brown black pepper. Let's have a spoonful of that. Let's have some ground white pepper. Mm, take a spoonful of that. Um, some salt. Definitely take a spoonful of salt. And there you go, salt. Um, garlic granules, spun some of those in. Uh, I'm going to be quite liberal with the garlic because we like it a bit garlicky. Right, and we want a bit of smokiness, so we'll have some paprika. Let's take a spoonful of that, bring that in. And we want a bit of spiciness as well, so we'll have a spoonful of chili powder in this as well. And see how we go. Get that all mix up. And that's it. Just mix it all in together. I'm actually going to get my fingers in there in a minute. When he's done, the, he's the one cooking. The kitchen is so messy, so he don't really do me a favor. He just make my life 
do more work. <laughs> well, that seems fair since you always give me loads of work to do. So, you know, fair's fair. Look, there you go. You can see that's all evenly mixed now. So it's become a nice even colour. I think that'll be okay. We'll give it a go. Hopefully it'll be tasty. Oh, I forgot one thing actually. I forgot one thing. I've never tried this before, but I thought I'd give it a go. What's that? This is crushed cornflakes. A lot of people swear by it. No, red grumpy though. A lot of people swear by crushed cornflakes. I don't know why, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a go. I'll crush up the I think they've got to be crushed pretty fine actually, so give them a good you want standard cornflakes by the way, not crunchy nut cornflakes or anything like that. I don't think that'd work. But we're going to put those in and see if that works. I think that's enough though, isn't it? Let's give that a go. Put my crushed cornflakes in. Oh, and it's really, really boiling now. No, it's not hot at all. Then you just put it on. Whether or not that'll make any difference, I'm not convinced, but we'll give it a go. That's it, that's me, that's me chicken powder. I'll put my spices away. First time he's doing this, so I don't know how this is going to look like. And he was marinated that almost all day. A few moments later. Okay, so our oil has had a chance to heat up now and we're pretty confident that's got to the right temperature. So we're now going to start putting our chicken straight into the into the oil and frying away. So we're just going to get these one by one, make sure they're nicely coated in the marinade and then we're just going to roll them. I'll put some of the powder from there to there. Just going to roll them in there, make sure they get good, good coating all the way around. And then from there, some people put them in a holding area, but I like to put it straight in. In you go, and he's starting to fry straight away. later all right we're coming to the end of the uh, frying now they've been frying for about 23 24 minutes now as you can see they're starting to look nice and crispy so I think we're gonna give them another minute or two and then we're gonna start taking them out of the pan a few moments later okay I think we can start doing these now so turn the heat off if you're worried about the safety of this, it's perfectly safe. I mean, we're lucky we've got this sort of ceramic hob thing. Very difficult to catch that on fire. Obviously, never leave it on its own. Um, my brother, for example, is simply not allowed to cook this at home because his wife thinks he's going to burn the kitchen down. Uh, but yeah, that's looking pretty good. They've come out quite nice. I always, when I take them out, I put them straight onto a bit of kitchen towel. There they are. And if you ask me, they look crispy and yummy. And I really can't wait to eat that. A few moments later. Hello, we're back. Now, nakaluto na yung asawa ko ng fried chicken. Ang sarap kaya. Sobrang sarap. See that? Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. With ketchup and other things with her meatballs. And me, of course, rice. <laughs> yeah. Especially when it's like this. <laughs> I love Oh my god. This is really nice. He made his own, um, how do you call that? Powder. 
Vesper. A few moments later. Okay, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed the fried chicken recipe. We've eaten it now, and it was delicious. And we're now just putting the kids to bed. If you like the video, don't forget you can subscribe, you can like it, and if you want to know about future videos, you can turn your notification on. See you all next time. Bye bye.